In this episode, some hacks you can use for Halloween. So say you're having a Halloween party and you want to make some really cute snacks. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make some witches sticks. What are they called? Witches brooms. <laughs> oh, now you're going to put that in. <laughs> like you've been putting all my bloopers in now. I'm just going to start again. <laughs> So say you're going to have a Halloween party and you want to make some really cool snacks. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make some witch's brooms made out of cheese. All you need is some cheese, some chives and some pretzel sticks. So I've got my cheese slice right here. This is too big for the, for the brush. <laughs> Oh, I got up really early this morning. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to cut this here to make it shorter. And then you just want to cut your brush bits. <laughs> to cut the base of your broom, just go ahead and do this. So you want to cut them so they're about mm, a couple millimeters wide, but not too thin, okay? Otherwise it will break. Next thing you get your pretz and then you're gonna roll the cheese carefully around the pretzel sticks. And then I'm gonna get my chive and I'm gonna wrap it around the cheese. Tie it very gently so it doesn't break. Don't pull too hard because it will break. Damn it. <laughs> carefully fray the cheese. And put it on the plate here. If you want to be really particular, you can cut the bottom of the cheese to make it all the same size. So there you have it, some witch's brooms that are really cute and really easy to make and it's great for little parties. What is Halloween without some bloody candles? All you need is a red candle and a white candle. You need to light the red candle and melt it over the white candle. Very simple. We totally got ripped off with the candle. We thought it was red. It's half red. Well, mostly white inside. So preferably if you can get a solid red candle, this would look better. <laughs> now it just looks like watery blood. So there you go. There is my bloody candle. Very easy and it looks really nice. With this one, I'm going to teach you how to make a really cute ghost, okay? So what I have here is a styrofoam ball on top of a bottle. You can use any kind of ball that you like. You can use a balloon. This is just to create the shape of the ghost head. I'm going to use two pieces of cheesecloth. It's just going to hang over the ball like this. Okay, so it's going to create a ghost. So now I'm just going to make the mixture to soak the cheesecloth in so that it will harden later and create my lovely cute little ghost. I'm going to do one part glue, one part water. I'm using Elmer's glue because it will dry up clear. Same amount of water. So now I'm just mixing up the mixture. Now I'm going to dip my cheesecloth in the glue. Do one at a time so that it's just easier to get it out, I guess. Make sure it's all covered with the glue. Give it a good squeeze. You don't need so much glue. And then drape the cheesecloth over the ball. So repeat the same thing for the second piece. Oh, it's looking good, man, I tell you. So now that I've made my little ghostly figure, you just have to wait for it to dry for about a day. And then after that, you can stick on a little face, which this is what the black paper is for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out the eyes and the mouth so that you can understand what I'm going to do with it. So only stick on the face when it's dry. Mine is not dry yet. I'm just giving you an example of what it would look like. I'm gonna leave this for about a day for it to dry up and then it will end up looking like this. <laughs> How cute is he? I'm gonna turn it around. Look, this is where the ball was. So afterwards, you just carefully take it off the ball and it will dry up like this. And at the last part, you just put a string in the top of the head, hang it anywhere, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to teach you how to make fake blood. Really simple. All you need is four parts of corn syrup, one part of chocolate syrup. Give it a good stir and however much red dye that you like. Depends on what kind of fake blood you want to make, how realistic you want to make it, I guess. Oh, look at that. Hey, it looks damn cool, huh? So if the colour of your fake blood is not quite right, you can either add more chocolate syrup to make it darker, or if you need to make it lighter, you can actually add more corn syrup. You can smear it everywhere. You can put it on your hands, on your clothes, you can eat it. Oh, it's so sugary. But yet, I keep eating it. <laughs> 
Anyway, you get the idea. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make a really cool effect, a fake wound effect. It's really easy to make. I've got some Elmer's glue, I've got a tissue and some brushes. First thing I need to do is I need to get my tissue, rip off an end, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you just give it a good twist, like this. Once you've twisted your tissue, cut it in half. Next step is to get the glue, put it on the area where you want the cut. So I'm gonna do it here. Then I want to grab the tissue and place it on each side of the glue part so that there's a gap in between. Now you want to get the glue and you want to kind of fill in the edge here so that it's like nice and smooth so it looks like part of your body. And then you want to spread it out so it looks like it's part of your skin, okay? Oh, my hair is going to... It's gonna hurt taking this off. If I come out with one patch of hair that grows thicker, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I've created a little slit on my arm here. Just make sure that the middle of it is hollow, okay? Cause that's where we're gonna put in the fake blood. So now I just gotta let it dry. So when this dries, it will dry clear. So don't worry, it's not gonna look like that, okay? Okay, so it's more or less dry. This bit is not dry yet because I did it a little bit too thick, but it's still touch dry and I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna do it. So the next step is you need to get your foundation and then you need to cover your wound up. So you just wanna cover all the white bits, okay? Now the foundation is a little bit too light for my arm, um, but it's okay because I'm gonna be covering it up with other stuff. Now to make it look like a wound, I'm going to add some red eyeshadow everywhere. Just go any way you want, really. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna add some blue to give it more dimension. So, so far I've got this going on. I've pulled up some of the glue here to create like a loose skin kind of effect. I'm gonna do some more here and it's just gonna look like Torn skin, it's kind of gross. With the blood I made earlier, I'm just gonna go inside here and put all the blood inside there. Now to go messy on the outside of it. Ew, it looks really gross, doesn't it? I finished my wound and it looks really gross. This is the end product. I'm no professional makeup artist and I think that looks pretty amazing. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make stubble on your face. So this is great for Halloween costumes or if you wanna cross dress. What you need to get is some gray eyeshadow and then you just need some black mascara and that is it. So I just wanna apply the gray eyeshadow to my face just like this. And this will create like a five o'clock shadow look, I guess. So I think I'm done putting the gray eyeshadow on. Doesn't it look pretty? <whistles> Grab your mascara. You wanna take off the excess mascara off the brush like this so you don't get big chunks. Once then, you need to lightly tap the hair on your face. Don't swish it, you'll get lines and that just makes it not so real. Ah, oh, shit, see, that's what happens when you swish it. <laughs> So this is the final look. I've been told I look like Prince. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. So this look right here is good from far, but it is far from good because when you look up close, you can see that it's mascara. <laughs> the beauty of this all is that it's for Halloween. So it's gonna be dark anyway, so no one's gonna be looking up close. Also in photos, it will look fine. It will look like you've been mining in some mine somewhere. <laughs> Don't you think I look like a miner? I ho, I ho. It's off to work we go. Anyway, you get the idea. Ta da! We've come to the end of yet another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, some of you may or may not know, we've actually started our own merchandise called tandemmerch.com, okay? So I've actually designed some t-shirts. I've designed other stuff too, but this is one of the t-shirts I designed. Ta -da -da -da. It also comes in two other colors. There is gray. And there is black. Not only that, I've also designed another t-shirt with my favorite catchphrase, and you all seem to love it as well. It is called the Cupit t-shirt. So it comes in black, white with teal print, and then also white with pink print. So you can find these t-shirts and many other things that I've designed on the tandemmerch.com website. Be sure to check it out. There are limited pieces. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and don't forget to download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching guys. Mwah! Happy Halloween! My tongue red.